guys, welcome to episode 37 of The Gaffer. How are we all doing? It's party time. Everybody it is unbelievable. Season, this is the last game of the season already. That's, uh, maybe some people go, oh, you're dragging this out, ain't you? But no, it's the last game of the season. As you remember, in the last episode, we became champions of the Conference North. Um, we beat uh, Telford 2-0 to win the Conference by quite a convincing margin but since the 12th game we had a game against Gilmsley between now and then and oh, I've got to show you this goal this goal is the best own goal I've ever seen on a football manager and I mean unbelievable own goal right let's pause that we want to see the own goal right if you are, let's see the goals. Is this the goal? I don't know. Can I go one second? It's cleared. Yeah, this is the goal, right? It's the best end goal I've ever seen in my life. To get it off to a good start of the five minutes at Turley. It's a long boy over the top. Keeper comes up to clear. It's his defender and rolls in the centre of the goal. I think it's just 1 0. Oh, that's like, oh my god, unbelievable. <laughs> and then, anyway, Nathan Fox gets a second just on the half hour mark. With Luke Greaves getting their goal just before full time before Tom Elliott settles, settles the score in the 90th minute to make it 3 1 to give us another three points. After that, we had Leamington at home. A nice 1 0 vi 1 0 victory. Leamington had nothing. Shot was possession dominated. They have many shots. Kieran Morrison, 85th minute. Uh, Leamington defended really, really well. We had a thousand people turn up for this. Now, average attendance has been 500, 600. But we've had a thousand people turn up for this one. But Kieran Morris, with five minutes to go, comes off, comes off the bench. No, he didn't go off the, off the bench. But come, well, like place, right time, really. Tapped in the back court, in the bottom corner. At the back post to make it one 0 Then we had Bradford PA, a poor, a poor, poor game. We had no shots on target. Bradford should have got some out of it personally. Bradford were the better team, but we didn't create anything. You know, we, we've already won the league, but a nil nil draw against Bradford PA. And then uh, we had a away match against Gainsborough, which we won. 1-0 quite comfortably, not made shots on target, but dominated possession. You know, they had two shots, one target. We dominated the possession. Uh, goal from Donovan first game in the 28th minute, secured the win. And we were got uh, man of the match for that one. But also what's happened in recently, clicks on it, um, we have been offered another job. We got offered a Stenhouse Muir job in Scotland, in the Scottish League One, so League Above uh, Brecon. Um, declined it again. Another job of the ground, this was second job. Because they got relegated, they were absolutely they won three games all season. Uh, have a quick look. Uh, Stenhouse Muir. There you go, Stenhouse Muir. Decided to hire Gordon Chisholm, but the tenth of League One. And I mean, they've won three games all season. You know, completely bottom. And I was like, well, it's a step backwards again. So I decided to say nope, no thank you, but thank you anyway. But no, I don't want to take the job. And then after that, we had a few issues with this squad, squad harmony. Um, as you can see, it's quite low. The reason it's quite low, we have four or five players come up to me after after the uh, Telford game and said, well, I've broken the promise because we're not been promoted. Well, I'm sorry, we just won promotion, so what, what was this all about sort of thing? And I had to have a few team meetings. Um, could have cost me my job, actually, in all fairness. But that's the sound. It good now is it is the final game of the season, of season three. It's the final episode of season three, 
Uh, I'll have a look, quick look at the table. Look, you can see it there, but I'll have a quick look at the table. Playoffs have all sorted. Champions, of course, with 100 points. So, that's achievement and a half, 100 points. And we lost the one game so far against Stockport. We have got Blackley, who are fighting relegation. So, they could be, it could be another loss. I'm not saying it is. Could be. Could be another loss, but they are fighting against relegation. So, Hyde have been relegated. Cambridge haven't been relegated at either. So, it's it's three teams that I could be relegating for, so the whole could go as well. Southport are safe. But let's crack on with this game. Let's get this season over and, over and done with. And let's get on the transfer market. So the final team of the season is going to be Johansson in goal. He's been unbelievable. 50 appearances this season so far. With this one will be 51. He's injured for a little bit, so Big Blue came in for four games. But he's been uh, he's been actually rock solid. Fox and Turley have been the central partner most of the season. With Ruddock, who's been fantastic in the defensive midfielder. Wilson on the left wing, Wilson on the right wing, Routledge and Love in the centre with Lloyd Thomas on the wings and Fuscu up front. Mother in law's chatting shit on the phone. Always good when you're recording, isn't it? Pain in the bloody ass. So we've got Rigu on the bench with Kinsella, Walker, Elliot and Arua on the sub bench. Let's get this game over and done with. So I can spend another 10 hours scouting again for more players for next season. And then realise this players we've already got are good enough. So, right, last game of the season. It looks like a packed house. So, yeah, so that's better. Passionately have faith in you. Passionately have faith in you. Passionately I have faith in you. So let's crack on. Let's close this door, which is right next to me. Squeaky door. I'm not worried about win or lose. Or draw. But that's not good luck. Straight away. I hope you have enjoyed this series so far. This season's been the best season so far out of, out of three. Because we have got promotion. Uh, some of the corner whips it in it's cleared but only as far as Lloyd oh, a poor pass and modest clears Turley Ruddock Love Widdison's in again oh it's cleared by none I thought he was in better first touch could have been 1-0 another corner Widdison goes short to Love doesn't know what to do back to Widdison gets the cross and Lloyd's going to be oh no and they've cleared it again out as far as Aiden Thomas Love Poor first touch, Ferguson gets the tackle. And they come on the te on the counter. Allen. Well look at the tackle. Love. Lloyd. Routledge. Love. Ferguson with the tackle again, but it's a free kick. Yeah, so click on the link to the playlist for all these episodes, all the whole series. Been unbelievable support from everyone. Uh Twitter. Uh, obviously Facebook but I'm not really in the Facebook at the moment uh, disappointed I'm quite disappointed actually I'm far from pleased from what I just saw from this team passionately you want that bad uh, so I believe you can improve no one seemed to be really cares last game of the season the league's already won but uh, done really well this season I thought we would be challenging for the championship I don't think we'll win it by this big, big margin and stay un undefeated for as long as we did because it was a young team I got most all of them are free transfers but it's not some target it's a corner give a fumble that one you know it's all young kids and free transfers I think the most I spent was 55,000 after that's a great goal Turley I did not see that coming. He's been an outstanding signing, got him from Forest Green at the start of the season. Has more as a not sub but as a rotated central defender, but he's been unbelievable for me. So like I said, so is it's Johansson, same as Nathan Thomas, Wilson, got him last season oh, over the bar. So he's one of the few players who have stayed from last season. Nearly two thousand first game. 
It's kind of bang, it's party time, like I said. But I would like a few players, a few more players for next season. Um, I'll put in another central defender, whether it's picked up a knock. Um, pause that. Uh, the central defender, um, defensive midfielder, another central midfielder, maybe a winger and a striker. So not many people, not many players. But enough. Just so we can. I don't want to say scrape relegation. I don't want to scrape it. I want to. Um, the concrete, you know. Mid table ish. Maybe push for playoffs. I'm not sure. Widdison's picked up. Fusky's picked up a knock, sorry. I'm getting tongue tied now. Elliot comes out. Itchy ear, squeaky chair, all going on at the same bloody time. You know, consolidate mid table and playoffs. Between mid table and playoffs, I'll be fine. I'll be happy with. We get playoffs, fantastic. But I'm not holding my breath at that. Um, with I'm here at the beginning of the next season, series season four, is another thing to never think. I don't know. Oh, I love you, man. One on one with a keeper, come on. You slow down. Have a pop. Let's off the Elliot. Oh, that's a great save. I thought Elliot was going to smash that in. Yeah, you, know, you don't know what's, I don't know what's going to happen in the middle of this pre season. The idea of it is to. Oh, unlucky. Keep it going till at least FM16 comes out. So, God knows how many seasons we can do. It's May. This was the 1st of May now. As I'm recording this, um, so you're looking at, at least October. So you got a good five, six months. I could go in the twentieth season or something like that. With Hennesford, I doubt it very much, but you never know. Lloyd's a good ball. That's a great save for keeper again. He's made the best ball clear cut chances. Keeper made some cracking saves to keep him in with a shout. I'm not getting relegated practically. I don't think it's going to be enough. It's cleared it. Wilson, he's been fantastic. Routledge has been fantastic at spells. Elliot, it's been alright. I don't think my strikers have scored enough goals. Love, he was at the start when I came. He's been fantastic. Still playing in the third season. Kinsella has been fantastic. Apart from that, we've had a, we've had a decent season this year. Above all, Expectations. Lloyd, he's in again. What a great tackle. See, Lloyd hasn't had a lot of chances. He's, he's got unbelievable. His kid's got unbelievable ten, um, potential. Unbelievable potential. It's just he's very injury prone. He gets injured very quickly. Surprising he got injured this game. To be honest with you. But you know, we've got some decent players. Sellers injured. For injury pain, Ruddock has been fantastic. For him, Kelly, Routledge, Archie Love, first season with me, take him to the conference. Fox has been brilliant, got him from Norwich. Must have Ruddock before he said that. Um, oh, I just dropped me mouse on the floor. Always good fun. There we go, we're still working. Come on, they're dragging this out, ain't they? It's nice to see the stadium full ish, but one stand empty here. But Ferguson, Routledge, free kick. We have lost, like I said, the game against Stockport was controversial. I just thought we got beaten a shit out of that one. Uh, we win 1 0. Larry, let's see it. Well, I'm always a good win. I just switched off, but no. Like, backroom staff might have to be changed. I think I think I have to get more backroom staff. Just cause Brackley are down by the way. Don't get me wrong, Larry's got great motivational skills, but I just think I need a better system manager to improve the club. To improve the club players, I need better trainers as well. Fisk out of three to four weeks. He's had a port. He's got this kid's got so much potential. You know, he's playing for Zimbabwe. He's got six goals and eight appearances for Zimbabwe. 
You know, he ain't got a great value. But nothing, he doesn't change. At 19 now, he's, he's going to be quality. Kind of good player for most League 2 sides. So he's f two leagues below what he should be playing. 13 goals and 24 appearances. Ain't exactly bad. But I expect more. But he's out for three to four weeks. Lucky the season's finished. Uh, one, this is like, I'm pleased with the result. Another clean sheet. Johansson's a top goal goalkeeper. I'm well, surprised I got him. Rank amongst the lowest teams in the league for fouls. Carlos, that's right. That's very pleasing. Do you think you're pretty much support? Because you might have been a little vain following that result. Surely you can't hold on for much longer. Let's go and focus on the match if possible. The unfortunate cash of, uh, casualty against Brackley team may have claimed too close to the edge of them. Across the line, um, I don't believe he would never send out. Send out as players to deliberately injure my pit, my, my pitch, my players. So I was looking at this bit. Yeah. Surely it will become a point where that flow is important to preserve the value. Yeah. But this is it. So the end of the season. It is as champions 103 points over one loss, 10 draws and 31 wins. Scoring 83, 7 of them against Cambridge and Ultron. That's not bad. Telford got 5 against Telford. North Fernby got 6. A bit of um, revenge for last season. Most team, North Fernby scored 3 against Mid Uster. <laughs> About right. We were knocked out in the first round of the FA Cup by Oldham Athletic. We got knocked out in the semis of the FA Carlsberg Trophy by Halifax, who Gateshead won it. Anyway, so it's the same as the FA Trophy. First round of the FA Cup proper. And we won the conference. Overall, I think that's a very, very, very good, excuse me, a very good season. Um, get over it, mate. You lost your relegate just that. But what a season we've had. But that is going to be it for the end of of this episode also the end of this season season four will be up very soon after obviously three seasons done there might be a couple of days might be a week in between this game this and the next episode the next series just to have a break from it for a week maybe a few games coming out on the xbox and might play on for a bit um, you're right, I'm really not going to be So, I will see you in season four. Whether it will be with Hebsford, I do not know. It's too early to say. I'm not interested in all this, really. And then we've won, we've gone up. Walker's injured. But to recap the whole season three, there will be a link in the description of the playlist. Also, there'll be the f um, the previous episode be here when we became champions. But until the next time, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in season four. Cheers. Bye bye. His goal separates us. Hello, Elliot. Yes, it makes it two. 20 minutes to go. Thomas has been fantastic all season. Gets the cross in. Left foot volley. Elliot Keeper had no chance. Makes it 2 now, and we have got one hand on the trophy. The second hand's coming up. And 78 minutes gone. We'll make some subs just to see who's injured. Kinsella is absolutely sh.